Hello guys, welcome back to Warhammer Tacticus. So today we're going to uh, play full walkthrough from the Rosvita quest. Well, as you can see, I already played, I made it through uh, from the uh, ga gaining some specific uh, kind of rewards, but um, we, I did not complete all of the quests uh, for the, I would say, required amount of points. So we're going to make it through today. Uh, sorry that I'm putting it uh, late because you will have tomorrow the last day of this event. Uh, I saw that one person already put a YouTube gameplay from the Rosvita quest walkthrough, but um, the characters which are required for this are like this is amazing because this guy was uh, certainly using Isabella, and in my opinion, without use, without having Isabella, you can just forget about 7,800 points. So we're going to make a walkthrough from the uh, most decent players. So this will be a walkthrough from you guys, for you guys. So for the players who um, does not spend like a few hundred of dollars monthly uh, to have pleasure from the game, it will be for the people who spend around 20, 30, maybe 50 dollars monthly for a game, so for battle pass, maybe for the, for the event, um, I don't know, maybe for some extra black, black stones, and that's it. So I do realize that there is a guy who put some nice effort and do a good job providing you the walkthrough for 100%, but this is kind of impossible because I don't think that many of you uh, have Isabella, has for example Morwen, and has also Tadeus Noble. I just don't think this is work. Like, this works like like this. Um, I had a lot of openings because I was taking part in early access, and I still missing the few key characters. And this one is Isabella, and I think that Celestine is also the key character for this kind of event since she has huge range and she is great tank because she cannot take any damage. So, like as, as you can see, I'm farming the Celestine with every video. I have like 20, 30 extra shards. This is why I, I just gain daily free shards of her, of her. So yeah. So just let's get started with the encounter number one uh, from the common difficulty. I would say that the common difficulty this time is not it's not a struggle. Um, it should be it should be definitely fine for you. Um, so we cannot take any damage. This is kind of simple. We are using Vindicta firstly uh, to prevent the <coughs> enemies from incoming in more quantities. Mm, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if I just taken damage stupidly, but I think I did not. One, two, three, and we have f uh, 500 score, I guess. Oh no. Okay, let's go one more time because this was just stupid what I, I've done. Uh, so we're going for this. We're going to take down this guy, and actually that's it. One, two, three. <clears throat> that's it. Uh, I think most of you have Yarik and Vindicta, so it should not be a problem. So first mission is available for all players to gain 100% of, of points. Let's go for the encounter number two. <clears throat> so we have to deploy only characters with the range attacks and we also cannot take any extra damage. Um, I would say that here are also the requirements for the... Well, we can use also the same squad, you can use more one if you don't have Vindicta. I really doubt you do, you, you, you do not have Vindicta, so... Uh, let's just... in Just in case, let's just use this ability. Uh, okay, we can... Firstly, we can summon the Imperial Guardsman right there, and we can... Yeah. Um... We have one more turn actually, so let's just make it, like, just skip it. And we have 100% of points from the uh, encounter number two. So we're going for the encounter number three. Uh, this is not an issue, also. <clears throat> okay. So we will use here the healing man I got I would say 
Okay. So we're going to go here. I think I should I should have taken inches in the high spot. But let's see how it goes. And we're going to heal ourselves. Okay, so this is in the first encounter you can use the inches. Uh, you can use, of course, Isabella. Um, basically, uh, if you have Isabella, you have huge chance to um, make it through this this event on full score. But think about Isabella is that you only have a chance to obtain her from the pools. There is no way you can um, obtain shards of the Isabella. There was no quest with Isabella. So <coughs> uh, this is something which I hugely uh, do not appreciate. So okay, so let's get these guys for in the first place. Um, maybe let's get Okay, we just did not fear him enough. Okay, they're going for the Imperial Guardsmen, <clears throat> so we should be just fine. We obtained full score and we're going straight into the encounter number 5. Well, actually, sorry for this. Mm, I should have just put a little bit sound from the game also. <clears throat> so, you cannot use Psy Psyker, and this might be... seems to be difficult, but I, actually, trust me, it's not. Mm. So, the only one thing you need to do is just to make sure... Uh, let's see... Because I'm not a fan of not using the Tadeusz Noble. So, let's just... Okay. So we need to change the range of these characters. Uh, we're going pro probably try it twice. Um, okay. Okay. Here we got this. <clears throat> so this is actually the, the walkthrough of the um, common quests. And the, the stairs just begin right now uh, with the encounter number one. So I just will keep watching advertisements and I will just show you a walkthrough in, in a moment. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so I was watching on the internet <laughs> how to make it through and actually you cannot use Viaric and you cannot use the inches so we will gonna we'll use the uh, we'll use the Tertius which is supposed to take down the incoming um, the incoming uh, Terminator so we cannot heal and repair anybody so let's just go so let's go take one, take down this one, and take down this one. Uh, we are unlucky, but this is no problem. So let's let's just try one more time. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. Um, Maybe I should go just like this. I don't know, I just do not remember. Let's see the range of this guy. No, we have to just... Uh, I don't know, let's see. Oh, 
he's coming in the first place. <clears throat> okay, let me just check this and I will come back to you because this one is easy. Okay. So I just check on YouTube the guy which I mentioned because it's not a secret that I'm watching also sometimes uh, other players. So he was using this guy and he was um, actually this is how looks his build. So he firstly used the Resvita to take down this guy and then he used this guy and then he skip and this is how it works. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, so we have to count that he will kill two enemies uh, which just did not happen so <laughs> you need to be lucky so anyway we have to try it one more time so this is actually the what I hate about this event, so you can actually make everything correct and you still need to have this one, uh, to have this kind of luck uh, just to make it through. And so until we will not nuke with this ability two guys, uh, for example, you can try to make it through like three or four times and it still will not happen for the max amount of, of percentage. So this is something I dislike about the event, so the part of luck you need to complete it. So going further, we're going to need um, the Varitigurius. Uh, I'm thinking that I just do not have all of the um, required power of his, but we can just watch advertisement. So we're going to play. Right now I will show you how you, sh how you are supposed to um, to make it through this quest but I, I tried to use exactly the build which was proposed in on YouTube and it did not work for me so you are, you are about to go with Rosvita first here and overkill the demon so the Imperial Guardsman should run away of course he did not and he it's second time uh, since he did not run away uh, this grenade is supposed to kill these two guardsmen and right now um, this ability is supposed to kill all of the three enemies so um, basically you have to have upgraded with the badges uh, some of the characters um, and I really doubt that you have upgraded Varategurius and Katskoden since these characters are not mainly required so we're going to make it through on the uh, free medals. I will make it go on the free medals. So I will use probably Ari Quindecta, and I will make it through. But sorry, this mission is uh, like you will you you are about to upgrade characters which I which are weak, and I'm not going to upgrade the characters which I consider as a weak one because I see this pointless. So we are right now uh, having six thousand six hundred fifty seven points. Um, and we have to go forward <clears throat> let's go so let's go so this is the quest where you are about the first time use Isabella otherwise you can just forget about getting full score for this so you um, cannot deploy character with heavy weapon trait uh, I was not going to use this kind of character, but you just cannot use it if you wanted to. Uh, so, in the first place, we have three Terminators, and they are most likely to... They're about to kill um, some of our characters. I'll just take the inches, just in case, but I think he, he will die in the first in the first seconds. So, let's just see. Okay, so we're going to use the ability firstly. And we're going to heal the Yarik. So 
so um, yeah we can actually use the heal okay uh, unfortunately we are missing some health so maybe maybe it's even possible to make it through but Isabella is uh, is rough not having her so we are missing here one, one point um, I showed you how to play it on 499 points uh, so I hope you can also make it on 500 I'll just try later I just uh, Want to make full and uncommon and common uh, difficulties in the first place. So you would, you can actually ask me why I keep uploading the uh, walkthrough from the event, which I do not obtain maximum amount of score. And the answer is very simple. I just want to show you that not only you are struggling with the with the event. So I'm not about to show you that. Oh, this is very easy event, and everyone should make it through maximum amount of score. Mm, the events are tough and the events are difficult mm, So I, I hope that if you see that I'm also not completing it on the full score uh, Just to let it go. Don't don't rage about it uh, Just the events are, are constructed in this way to make you feeling that you're missing something and to You know force you to buy extra shards uh, extra pulls and the chance that you will obtain from the 10x pull uh, the character which you want is very very low, so just never mind guys, don't don't bother this and actually let it go. The events are not the most important, even I think that the price for event for like 100 shards, 25, 20 euro is still a lot. So on a walkthrough which you could see online, um, there is also a suggestion to, to use here characters which uh, use also in these characters the Isabella because she's just a very powerful character. So I'm not suggesting you to use the Isabella because it's just pointless. Uh, I really think that maybe one for ten of you has her and then you might not have other characters. So. Uh, we cannot use psychic, uh, uh, psychers, psy physic, whatever. So we're going first to take down these guys in the first place. Um, then we're going to summon some units uh, for the, f to m to tank some damage, incoming damage for Volk and. Actually, we can just go back with this character. Okay, and it seems that everything is fine. <clears throat> we just did it for 100%. So... Yeah. So guys, mm, don't bother that uh, yeah that you cannot complete all of these encounters okay i know that it does not look satisfying right now i will make it better but so maybe i should i can get from the encounter number two 100 more score and three medals of course just to break the rules uh, so i will obtain 7000 points um, for sure 7800 without isabella which is key character to the event is just basically impossible uh, so anyway Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it uh, useful and see you tomorrow or the day after. Just, yeah, see you tomorrow. Let's, let's keep that way. So thank you and see you.